Hello people, and welcome to another fine episode of Who's That Anime? Episode 51 of our podcast thing, of where we talk about We're anime. We're back in our socially distanced bunkers. Yes, keeping it late, you can see that I have changed my layout. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Slightly. I am also bright in the screen, despite not having my desk light anymore. Um, That's good, that's good. Because of the second monitor to my right, that's lighting up my face. Yeah. Cast shadow. I <laughs> uh, I just realised that we are out syncing the video, but it should it should be fine. <sighs> I, I sure sure it'll work it'll work it'll be fine. Um, sure. Anyway, so. This it, like this shit show of a video that we're recording for this shit show of an anime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, it's been pretty much a year since we started recording these. Uh yes, it has. And you're correct. Uh, it's just past Halloween. Uh, not Halloween. Valentine's Day. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, February is come like the horror month. It's where all the horror movies get released it's, these days. I have, you know, I do understand that, you know, I've I've heard uh, Valentine's being referred to as the Halloween of the early year, so. Yeah, I believe, I believe it's so. Um, also, uh, we started this, this uh, podcast to watch terrible anime. We did. We actually... Believe it or not, it, it is, uh, you know, not that we want to date this, it's the, but really it's the 17th of February, uh-huh. and uh, we released our first episode uh-huh. on the 26th of February last year. Well, there you go. See, this get, well, this will get released on the 23rd? Uh, on the 20th. On the 20th? It's only three days. It is only three days. This is Thursday. Yeah. And not Sunday. And then the episode after, which will be the 52nd episode, will air one day after our first birthday. Oh, there you go. Happy birthday. We're going to get hats. <laughs> we should get hats. We should get hats. Anyway, so I suggested to watch School Days, remembering that it had been... It's got a bit of a twist at the end. And the rest of it was just forgettable. Uh, <laughs> I, I I can. So, to preface this, when I do prep for a show, uh, I did not read into this show, so I started watching it. I got through <clears throat> five episodes, and then started doing uh some image searching oh, for creating the background. Oh yeah, you should... and ho- holy shit! What? (laughs) Like, there's a turn. Well, to be fair, uh, we'll get to that. Uh, There's definitely some sinister undertones (laughs) to parts of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Um, I don't like this show. I don't like the characters. I, 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 I... no. 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 <laughs> Just no. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Um, we should. Yeah, we should probably get started. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God. You're right. We did start this to watch terrible anime, and here we are, a year later, back to our roots. <laughs> I figured it's, uh, it's Valentine's Day, it's romantic settings. Technically, yeah, uh, the, in the first sure. episode, the first episode was was a bit romantic in stuff, and then it just comes all real creepy. What the fuck? Yeah, well, what are you doing, dude? I my level of discomfort is palpable. Um, oh, it gets worse. Anyway, um, yeah, I bet, I bet. So, so we're changing the format and. Uh, with this one, and we're doing three episodes per episode. Yeah, because we need to get this out of the way with quick. 
Yeah, I don't think we like. I was looking back at our, our early days. I think we did four episodes of ghost stories per episode. We did. <laughs> We're fucking blazing through that shit. Uh, yeah, well, there's about as much to talk about as in this episode. In this, uh, there is significantly less to talk about in this anime. <laughs> Ghost stories. <laughs> I, I actually been watched because I kind of watched it. Well, I watched it ten years ago because I, I saw some <laughs> images on something not about this, but it was like, and it was like, oh, this refers to school days, and it's like, oh, why, why does that refer to school days? I need to watch that, and I watched it, and it's like, I wasted my life. Yeah. Yeah, I bet I bet the end of it is pretty good though. The end of it is fucking mental, but um, excellent, and it's good build up. And like I, I'm super looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm not saying that this is worth it, but <laughs> no, no. Watch. I suppose you need to watch up to this uh, sixth episode, and then you can probably forget about the rest of them and watch the last one, and you go, "All oh, right, well, I see why that happened." Is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> Is that what you want to do? I mean, I mean, let me be honest with you. Yes, but I, I, I know I shouldn't. So let's do it properly. Okay. Right. So let's let's go into the first episode. Confession, episode one. Yeah. So basically. Surrounds a couple, well, senior school kids. Well, not senior. I hope so. But they're in their later, they're at past mid school and they're in their whatever yeah. school it is in Japan. They do. Um, <clears throat> it's the second semester and there's this guy, Makoto. Makoto. Makoto Ito. Yeah, and he's takes a train in to go to the school. And he's mm-hmm. lately noticed someone on a train. I went, "Oh, she goes to my school." And he's like, "Ah, ah," and he thought starts like just staring at her on the train, you know, like a sense a uh, normal guy does, yeah. <laughs> like a totally sensible person yeah. would do, you know. And then he takes a it's totally normal. Takes a classy pick because there's a, a rumor if you take someone's picture <clears throat> and no one finds out for three weeks, then they get together or something. Yes. Yeah. And that's kind of the introduction to his desire for this person who we uh we come to find out is another girl from class four called uh Kotonoa, mm-hmm. Ka- Miss Katsura. Yep. Yeah. Um. She is, you know, uh, shy and reserved, and all of those other tropes that you find mm-hmm. in 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 quiet quiet school children. Um, also rich. However. Oh yeah, yeah, helps. Yeah. Um. Then. Makoto is sitting in class next to uh, uh, Sakai, who is this other girl in his class, mm-hmm. and she sees the picture yep. of uh, K- Kotonoha and is like, oh, who's that then? Are you doing that thing? Yeah. And uh, they start having, which is kind of a, a traditional thing, it seems that they do, is have a conversation with a notebook where they just write to each other. But in between that, yell things out. Oh, and shock and surprise and get uh, yeah riled on by the teacher. Yeah, I I I know I'm an episode early, but there is a point where he does. The teacher asks uh <laughs> asks Sakai if she is retarded. And it's like, what is going on yeah. in the show? <laughs> yeah, uh, I remember that. Like, that's not that's not all right in any setting. <laughs> Let alone an institution, the institution of education. You know, 
It's, it was good, a uh, bit of humor for the show. The rest of it's pretty dry and horrible. Oh, yeah, it's uh, I do, yeah, this this show is like the fucking Gobi Desert, it's so dry. Uh, <laughs> nothing, nothing happens really. Uh, essentially, I guess what happens is that uh, Sakai is like, oh, you like her then? Well, you know what? I can make that happen because I'm, a girl. I'm that kind of nice person. Yeah, I'm a girl and I can do that. That's one of my superpowers. Definitely no ulterior motive. None. None whatsoever. Couldn't possibly be. Just doing it to be nice. Yep. Definitely. I'm not interested in you. Surely not. No. Absolutely not. Because no. why would you be? Yeah. I mean, I, I ask that question quite legitimately as well. Because why would you be? He's a total arsehole. Um, yeah, he, he is. is a fucking catastrophe of a human. Yeah, he is. He's a complete dick. I I don't like him. He is like just just everything about him. Mm. He's just just a total total asshole. <laughs> yep. Uh. Anyway, so she basically gives him tips, sets them yep. up. Uh, comes friends with the Konohara. Konohara? Uh, Kotonoa. Kotonoa. Um, and P, and then starts talking to her, and she's like, oh, everyone doesn't like me because I've got big breasts. Yeah, this is a. <laughs> Talk about you know, being a dry show. This is a very common theme. Uh, this is like, um, like Golden Boy level of common. Uh, no, no, no. It's it's about Golden level common. Yeah. To to be fair, uh, like literally, almost every camera angle in this show is to see pants, underskirt shots, shots of butts, shots of boobs. Crotch, small waists, and like crotch, just and then and then. Have you noticed the just the gratuitous use of the Dutch angle in this movie in this show? It's everywhere. It is there is one point where, for conceivably no reason, and I can't remember which episode it's in because my mind is gone now, <laughs> is that there's just they're sitting having a conversation and then she is sideways. I don't know why, but she is. Yeah, maybe. Sideways, so who's she? A, a, a Kotonoa. They're, they're just talking. And then, like, or is it Kotonoa? You know what? It's Kotonoa or Sakai and talking to Makoto. And they're sitting on a bus shelter or whatever. And gradually, like, the angles are getting more and more tilty. And then eventually she's just like, like the angle is of her. Like, what's <laughs> going on? Why? <laughs> Why is this a thing? I think maybe it's just depending on where it is at, it's maybe just kind of like to de demonstrate the psychological bending of people in this show. I, I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I was lying down when I was watching some of this, so <laughs> Did just... there's potential that I was getting confused, but I, I'm confident because there's subtitles, I feel the need to tilt the iPad <laughs> or the phone. In a way that it means that I can read the subtitles normally. <laughs> if I'm just listening, it can be the other way. But yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Um Yeah, so So she basically sets him up and tells him how to do it and tells him to stop being aggressive to her. Cause he's like, I want you <laughs> type of thing and then Yes. Goes right for her. She, she's not into that. No. Not not super into that. No. Uh and then, um, he sort yeah, he basically sort of kind of confesses to Kotonoa about like his feelings for her, mm -hmm. and yeah, she's like, uh, I don't know. People, people don't like me because of the boobs. So, yeah, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and he also got the 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 Kirby friend. Oh. Oh fuck! What's his name? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Sawanaga. Yeah, but he's not as bad as. Oh well, I... Ito. Uh... Taisuke. No, Makoto. No, he's he's not. I mean, like, 
he's more likable. is uh he's yeah and and which is impressive because he's just a massive pervert mm-hmm. like i'm i'm rooting for that guy <laughs> instead of this catastrophic asshole yeah. who the show is about yeah yeah um so what else I mean, oh, it ends with uh, what's her name taking a reward from Motoko, didn't it? She, she gives him a kiss just as she gets on the train. Yeah, yeah. Makoto sort of says, "Oh, you know, thanks. You know, and, and you know, if there's anything you need, just let me know." And uh, she just kisses him, and then it's like, "Oh, bye." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just. Just bails out. Um, oh man! I, I, also, we should point out she kisses him. Is like good luck, you know, with that girl. Yeah, I yeah. Set you up with the girlfriend. She's your girlfriend. Uh, bye. Yeah. Uh, I. Oh man, I. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was the, that was the end of the episode. Um. Yeah, that's the end of episode one. We've talked about everything in episode one. No, we haven't. But uh, <laughs> we talked enough. We have. We talked enough. We've we've talked about the things that matter in episode one. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think we also had a bit where um, did not Konoha. Uh, but no. Yeah, don't she like confess that she's always liked him? Well, because it was this he kept daring at her on the train. I don't know if that's this episode, but you're right. Yeah, she basically is like, well, you know, he was always looking at me on the train. Yeah. I, I like that about that guy. I like that about my men. Apparently. You know? <laughs> it's like, Apparently. It's got to be interested. Love it. Just love it when guys just stare at me on trains. Um, yeah. Okay. D- do you want to rate this? I, I'm i not even sure. I'm okay with... Do- I- I, I think maybe what I'll do is rate the entire show. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should rate Give every... me that sliding scale. <laughs> you should just rate uh, every episode. I think. Okay. Um, I mean, I think this is maybe a three. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not <sighs> absolutely categorically unwatchable. Yeah. But it's not well written, and it's really dry. And I kind of get the intention, the feeling that the intention is for that to be the case. Is it's supposed to be like I feel like this is a, a show that's going to be a three acts. You've got like super slice of life, uh, and then you've got kind of high drama, teen drama, and then fucking Elfin lied by the looks of the pictures I've seen. So <laughs> yeah. It- uh, yeah, I think there might be four acts in it, and I think it's like every three okay. episodes because you can see it kind of progressing that way. So, episode one is basically, I like this girl. I have no experience. I'm going to get into yeah, confess my. This is the them. super slice of life part. First three. Yeah. And then, then yeah, we get into the teen drama part, and then I guess I'm gonna see what the next act is. But uh Yeah. You know, say what they will. They had they had a concept and they they did they, they, they maybe did that. Uh so what do you rate this one? Uh uh three man. Let's... Three. Okay. I, I just... Right. Oh. Let's do it. <laughs> Episode two. The distance between the two. Yeah. So, oh. so, so this they go on their first date. Oh yeah, and he basically just takes her. He's reading. God, he's I'm... reading porn. No, no, like no, I... no. He's reading the a guide when she first meets him. Oh, the love magazine. That's uh, the uh the, the love guide. Love guide, and he's reading he that. later gives gives away to Taisuke. Yeah, with pages missing apparently. Anyway, um, yes, that he will find for him immediately. Yes. <laughs> um. So he does that, whips it out, uh, hides that, and they go to a bookstore, and then she's looking at books, and he goes to the porn section and he, looks at the book. He's, he's looking at <laughs> centerfold women, and she's like, oh, that's cute. And it's like, is it though? No. 
because you're on a date. Yeah, that's so. And weird. then like. <laughs> Oh, what is it like? Uh, then, uh, like a guy bumps into her and he's like really angry, and he steps in, and then the guy's still angry, and he's like, "Well, I guess I could just back away from this and just let you deal with it because you know I don't want to, yeah, want to deal with it." He sorry. says, "I thought I was brave." She says, "Sorry, yeah." Um, oh. yeah. And then he takes him to the games, and she's like, "Yay, you games now, and you won me lots of prizes at the thing." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he wins a buttload of those things and he plays some sort of Street Fighter clone and mm-hmm. basically does what he wants to do uh, for the whole day mm-hmm. and uh, then at the end uh, you know because he's he's feeling emboldened by Sakai having given him a kiss at the end of the last episode he's like yeah I'm just going to do this and uh, you know he, he tries to kiss uh, Kotonoa what what do you think of the sound effects uh, they use for a kiss? Mojo, the, mojo, mojo. Uh, uh, it's it's funny sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have laughed at it. Yeah, I don't know that it's actually the word. But no, I I I. I, I don't know up too. That anything that this show says is true. I'm not even sure that I know what's going on anymore. Uh, you know. I have crammed six episodes of this in the last thirty hours. <laughs> I've uh, I'm not far behind you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, also, thanks to Crunchyroll uh, and their free tier, I did end up watching the first five minutes of the first episode, maybe five or six times. Oh, nice. I I got to yep. the end of uh, episode two for. It butts out on me. Literally, it was right, right there. Oh, I. Yeah. <laughs> and the ads were. I tried. Cutting. I tried. Like it. It just kept fucking repeating sections, and I was like, I. This is bad enough. I don't need to see it again. I, so, these... I have. I have paid money to make that stop. <laughs> Why do you pay money? I had a free fourteen day I've trial. My... I, you, I've used that before. Do you should just get a fake email and sign up with that? Yeah, you have to sign up with a bank card, though. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I use That's PayPal. how they stop you from just doing that. Ah, uh, uh, this time. But I, I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not going to work the next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set up another PayPal account. That's okay. I've got uh, Platinum End is on Crunchyroll, so I'll probably watch that, too. That's... That'll be good. Um, right. So Disney, the kiss does not go well. Yeah, she basically <laughs> hits him, I think. And then that's the end of the date. Yes. End, end of date. Yeah. And of course, uh, of, course, of course, Sakai finds out about this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's like, fuck is your problem. <laughs> yeah, pretty you're, much. You're, you're screwing up. I got... I, like, she reminds me, uh, Sakai at this point reminds me very much of Haruhi. <laughs> and that sort of like just do as I fucking ask <laughs> like this will this will be fine if you just do as I ask yeah. for the love of god uh, that's true Um. so yeah she's like well you know this is bullshit uh, you need to be better so she like kind of coaches him a little bit in his behaviour like he's like you know <laughs> this is where we get the mucha mucha sort of uh, sound effect because we get to talk about the she has the movie tickets. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's like yeah, you know, movie tickets setting up the atmosphere because who knows what will happen in the dark watching a movie, mm-hmm. and then it's mucha mucha noise, and he's like, oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> need to need to get this to to figure out how this works and then he's like well oh shit i need to use these tickets in like a day so hey uh we're gonna go and see a movie right (laughs) yeah yeah um at this point you got like the their class president sucks oh yeah satsunuka ah the little crazy one the little crazy one 
I mean, she is little and crazy. She is little. Uh, I think she's the most sensible one out of the lot, though. <laughs> I'm just trying to find... Kiora? Set- Setsuna? That might be it. Uh, uh, but Kiora was a drink. Uh, and Kiora. I might have a racial slur in it. Hence why it's not around anymore. <laughs> oh really? Oh, I think uh, I think the catchphrase it's too orangey for pros. Well, uh, potentially a racial slur. Oh, because crows are like black, and I think they're. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. I think it's sort of like the crows and Dumbo. Yeah. Yeah, they were certainly... <laughs> Which we're okay with, apparently. What? Are they in the new Dumbo? <laughs> they're not in the new Dumbo, but they've not been taken off of the old one. <laughs> you can't... can't picture a masterpiece like Dumbo, man. <laughs> uh, tell that to Song of the South. It's not allowed anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the other... Dis- is that live-action Disney? That was the live action slash animation uh, movie that was so racist, Disney have never released it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know. Good, good times. Good times. Uh, you know what to say about Disney? Uh, the person or the company? Uh, the person. That he was an anti Semite, maybe? <laughs> yeah. And maybe support the Nazis. Yeah, allegedly. I don't want to <laughs> cast aspersions here. I've heard some stuff. Yeah, there's there's stuff about the man. Whether yeah. it's true or not, who knows? <laughs> maybe, maybe he's got all the gold. <laughs> who knows? Anyway, um, let's talk yeah. about uh, school Where days more because. That's... Oh yeah, they're going to the movie. Mm-hmm. They're gonna go to a movie, and uh, the uh, they get. He's like, "Oh, you should choose. You should choose what movie." And it's like a zombie movie. What looks like a romance film, like some sort of romantic drama. Yeah. And then another film. Yeah. Um. And I think she was looking at the zombie movie. She, seen... she was. She was looking at the zombie movie. She was really interested in the zombie movie. And then he was like, oh, well, of course, you want to go and see that. And then it turns into the romance movie. But it starts off yeah, with a zombie but... bit. To make you think she went to the zombie. It does. But then it gets it gets a bit porny as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure that they should have been allowed in to see that. Anyway. <laughs> no. Uh, but it kind of sets up. Like... If you read into it too much, that movie sets up into uh, kind of like the story of school days. Oh yeah, and they they of course have that conversation. It's like I guess you're like this character, and you're like this character. And it's like oh, you just are those characters apparently. Yeah, I was always in love with it. This entire movie's about do a love triangle thing in the movie. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so uh, can we talk about like actually, just so you can see it very quickly? It's school days, and then underneath it, it says, "In the school, the three guys met. Their relation had been changed in the season and turned into three love stories." Yeah. So I, th- what, what the hell even is that? <laughs> I believe this was like a game, uh, an anime made from a game. Uh, when it was love date, date games. Did it have the madness at the end of the game? Uh, it's probably one of the bad endings. Holy shit! School days okay. game. Oh no. Oh wait, no, that's not the right school days. <laughs> well... Oh, that's oh, right. You're looking at that. Mm-hmm. They're they're in the cinema, they're watching the movie, and he's like, "Well, now's my chance to sort of hold her hand and stare at her face, because that's what that's what women want." 
Oh yeah. They want to be looked at. Yes. So he like gra grabs her hand and uh you know uh it, it doesn't really sort of uh go well. <laughs> she's not she's not into it. She's not into the sort of the touching thing. No. Uh, no, she's very embarrassed about it. Um is this where you get slapped? No, you get slapped at this point. Yeah, you're right. This is where you get slapped. Yeah. And uh they they then go their separate ways, presumably right after that point, because who's gonna hang about and watch the rest of the porn? And uh the next day, uh Sakai sort of uh the Sakai's like, well, you you know, you're you're being too aggressive. The word aggressive is thrown around in this anime a lot. You're being too aggressive. You're trying to move too fast. Yeah. Um it certainly is. Uh and so you, you should you should tell her you're sorry. Um Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think he, and she's kind of avoiding him. She was going to go and take the bus home, run the train. Yeah, she uh, she's got a council meeting, and he's like, "Please talk to me." And he, she's like, "I've got to go now." And then uh, he's like, "Well, I'll wait for you at the train station. I'll be late." Well, I'll be there anyway. Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> Bye. Got to go. Yeah. Um. So, I just looked up the game. So, School Day is a Japanese visual novel developed by Overflow. That sounds like a, a great company name. Uh, Colin, this is my kind of game. Hmm? <laughs> this is my kind of game. <laughs> uh, released on uh, April 28th, 2005 for Windows as an adult game. So, wait, is it only on Windows? Uh, no, it was later ported as a DVD game for the PlayStation 2. And PlayStation Portable. It was on the PSP. Yeah, the story is a dramatic slice of life. Slice of life falls Motoko Ito, a high school student who becomes avian love interest of several girls during his second term, and the effects well, this has on himself what, and his relationships. I'm one hundred percent gonna play that on a stream. No, oh, don't. <laughs> I get banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'll think about it. Yeah, you can maybe <clears throat> look at it at some point. Um, anyway, so there you go. Yeah, it was a game. It came out after the for the the anime. So, anything being too aggressive. Has to apologise. She's trying to take the bus, but um, what's her name? Convinces she, she her. She starts talking. Sak yeah, she's talking to Sakai about you know what's happened, and Sakai's like, "Well, you know, he's dumb. Boys are dumb, and uh, he's just trying to move too fast." But I can assure you, you know, he has the best intentions, and he should. Uh, no, he, he doesn't. He's a <laughs> um, so she's like, ah, oh, you're probably right. Goes to the train station and uh she's like, Oh, he's gone, and then all of a sudden he's like, Oh, hi. Drinking a can of uh can of coffee, I think. <laughs> kind of cold coffee. Yeah, as you do. <laughs> um and uh she just runs up and plants a kiss on him. And that, and then you see a shadowy figure watching them from a distance. Yes. And then that's the end Who of that. Who could that be? Yeah. And that's, Who could that be? And that's the end of that episode. It was Sakai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No way. Oh my god. Okay, wait. what do you rate this one? <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Who's that Pokemon? Pikachu! It's Pikachu! Fuck. It's Cliff Carey! Still, still one of the greatest vines ever created. <laughs> and responsible for the name of this show. 
<laughs> to a great degree. <laughs> yes, yes. Not not because of the one, but just because of the name. No, vine. literally, I think the, the best thing that we should do, or the thing I should do now, and I've talked about it before, but now that we've watched this, it seems apt, is it's just every time we start a new series, I'll need to do some sort of audio drop that's, who's that anime? And it's us going, it's this, because we know that's the show we're going to do. And then it'll reveal and it'll go, it, it's school days, followed by us just going, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, oh man. It's a, School days. Anyway. So uh rate, what what do you rate this one? Mm, it still hasn't got awful yet. Oh, I'm gonna stay with a three. <laughs> yeah, has hasn't got any worse. Hasn't got any better. <laughs> so yep. Solid three. Yeah. Um Okay. Last episode for today is uh, Missing Each Other, episode three. So, um, this is the one where Kotahona, Kotanoa, sorry, says, oh, you know, I have a little sister, uh, and, and she'd, she'd love to meet you. Oh, that's because he phoned her up and started talking to her. That's right. Thinking it was her yeah. and not her little sister somehow. That's right. Which could have been very awkward very quickly because he's a nightmare human. Yeah, uh, uh, and he was. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, wait, you got a little sister? Oh, uh, yeah. And, and she said, well, you know, you could come round and meet her now that you've spoken to her. Um, and he's like, oh, of course. Which is creepy. Well, nice, but, you know, mm -hmm. in the setting of this show seems creepy. Um, Watching the game, maybe. I'm trying to remember. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't, uh, don't think do that in that game. I hope not. Yeah, um, this is... Oh, no. If it came out on PSP, it can't have that in it. <laughs> no, no. It's uh, they already got their Lolita character, or that's the the president. Yeah, there's a. It was. We'll we'll get there. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> uh. So then they're they're heading home mm -hmm. in the evening, mm -hmm. and she doesn't look too happy. And just abandon shit. Oh, there, yeah, because she's getting bullied in her class, essentially. That's right. The the uh the other is it the people from her from her group who are doing whatever that to to make the Halloween haunted house or the cafe idea. Yeah, it's they're doing their festival fair thing that every school does in Japan. Yeah. Apparently, I don't know how true yeah. that is or how. Not that maybe it was like one off thing, but it came such a trope in the anime, it's just a thing, yeah. Um, is yeah. this have they been to the roof of the school yet? They have, we didn't mention that. Well, it's like first episode, it's like, how do you get the key up here? Yes, oh, because I... she's the president of the astronomy club and only member, I think. And there's no, f yeah, I'm the only member and have been for a while, so I just do whatever the fuck I want up here. Mm. Um, and we'll get to that later. Sort of where they kind of get their, yeah, that's where they have lunch together and sort of. Oh yeah, he eats the bad sandwich. Man, there's stuff coming back to me now that is so not worth talking about, but also I'm just spouting it out as I remember it. Yeah, uh, what's her name? Can't cook because that's a trope as well in anime. <laughs> yeah, Kotonoa can't cook. She made sandwiches bad. They looked amazing, but they were bad sandwiches. And then he fucking nearly died eating them. I oh, choked, um, nearly choked on them because he was like, "I'll he save you from these." Them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, they they've kind of they've been giving her a hard time. Uh, so then uh, she the next day she takes the bus in to to school and remains pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, she meets Makoto 
on the roof and that's when they kind of talk about meeting up uh mm. to meet on sunday yeah so that he could spend time with the the sister mm. then he does mm-hmm. they go to he goes to the house and actually this is like one of those the only moments in the thing where it's like oh this is kind of sweet like you know you're being a genuinely nice person and making sure that uh uh kokoro is her name is sort of like you know entertained and she really likes him uh which is nice and then sort of uh there's i suppose like they've been referring to each other as not uh, we've been referring to them as kotonoa and makoto but they've been referring to each other by their their second names until now as well so like she tells him about how what's happening at school and and then they kind of get into talk you know they, they've been calling each other uh ito and katsura mm-hmm. until now when they start referring to each other as uh kotno and, and makoto instead yeah. so yeah because sisters why do you call her that and he's like what oh i don't really think that that's her yeah but it does apparently yes it does uh um then well. they kind of he he leaves yeah uh and then he calls he gets home and calls sakai mm. uh <laughs> and this this is where i really really start to hate his guts um because he phones sakai and moans about how boring it is having a girlfriend. Yeah. This is coming to the end of the episode already. It is. He's such a prick. Yeah. He's like, I don't think I'm into her anymore type thing. But it doesn't end it. <laughs> and like, maybe, 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 maybe. Baby, mm-hmm. I am angry about this because it is reminding me of my teenage years and how much of a nightmare they were for this sort of shit. <laughs> and like, it's just it is it's just raking up some really old, angry emotions <laughs> about, about this sort of thing. Oh my god, it's fucking terrible. See, it's hitting home to you, man. It, it is in a way that I hate it. it like normally they, for some instances, people might say, Oh, trigger warning. You're going to feel like you're a teenager again. And it's going to feel like shit. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make me feel like a teenager. Oh God. I'm just watching it. I mean, let's like, man, what an asshole. <laughs> I bet you, you were like that. Weren't you? Probably. This is you, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> Well, not exactly. It's like no, but close enough, right? You're an ass. You were probably an ass when you were a teenager. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Probably oh. fucking awful as well. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. And you got two kids to will be teenagers. It's gonna be fun. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I hate him. I hate him. I can't like. I'm so, oh, I'm so incensed at the idea that he's like so into her, gets another girl who's clearly into him to make that happen, fights for her in the previous episode to talk to him totally okay with going to meet a member of her family and it's like yeah she's fucking dull don't like this yeah <laughs> yeah <sighs> he's what an asshole yeah he's not going to get better I mean um... no no he, no he's not he's, he's like you're right you're right you're right <laughs> we have so much to look forward to you do um, or maybe not so what do you rate this one then <clears throat> Mm. Cool. Cool. Um, he's a dick. I'm gonna go with two. I'm gonna go and not not shit down one. I I agree. <laughs> I 
I concur. The end of this episode <laughs> angers me. <laughs> so I'm going to mark it down. Yeah. Did notice that. <sighs> what a dick. Right. right. Well, incredibly, uh, we've managed to get to the end of this <laughs> three episode run. Uh, you've been listening to Who's That Anime, an anime podcast, which can be found where all good podcasts can be found. Anchor.fm forward slash Who's That Anime is where our base is. Um, you can find us on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Overcast, Pocket Cast, and Spotify. Um, we don't make any money on this. There's no advertising, nothing like that. So if you like what we do, a review would be pretty amazing. Five stars is always cool. Um, anything less, constructive criticism also welcome. Um, if you don't want to review or have already reviewed, it would be great if you could tell a friend if you like what we do. Um, that's kind of word of mouth is probably how this is going to... I use the word spread. That sounds quite negative, but let's go with that. Uh, I mean... <clears throat> mm, could you spread? I'm just thinking it's not good context in this movie. Uh uh, uh, no. From this anime. <clears throat> Fair point. Uh, we have a Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash who's that anime. You can go there to find out when new episodes have dropped or when we share anime memes or other fun stuff, uh, such as our YouTube videos, which are also posted uh, from youtube.com. You can search on there from the channel who's that anime. Colin has been doing a fantastic job of uploading on a regular schedule our back catalogue of video episodes, mm -hmm. which is sort of the video uh, companion to the audio episodes that you get in your podcast feed. Um, what's our next one coming up? Uh, it's the second season of Hurry Suzumiya. Oh, and endless. Get ready for endless eight, folks. Endless eight. Mm, that's some get tasty. Tasty, tasty anime. Tasty yeah. anime. I, <laughs> yeah, unlike this, uh, unlike School Days. <laughs> yes, unlike School Days, which is pretty tasteless, bland, bland, bland anime. Um, so uh, Colin also likes to play video games. You can see him do that sometimes at twitch.tv forward slash couchfuel. Now that you have relocated successfully, I feel like that will probably happen at some point. Um, at some point, I need to kind of start point. start things out. At the moment, I'm kind of like, you got yeah. lots of games behind me, as you can see. And an empty shelves. Yeah. There's empty shelves there. But they're empty. <laughs> but, uh, of course, until then, there is an archive of your work at youtube.com. You can search for the channel Couchfuel. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to play games at uh, twitch.tv forward slash Hail Payman. Mostly horror games. Again, I haven't done that in a while, but there's an archive of my stuff as well on YouTube if you search for the channel. Hail payment. And he might be playing. Might be playing uh, school days at some point. Might, might might be playing school days at some point. I am tempted. Oh. Uh, I do love a visual novel. Yeah, you might not to R rate that stream. <laughs> oh yeah. Only yeah, fans. Yeah. Only fans it. <laughs> oh god. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. I thought we might get to a Patreon first, but if we end up with a, <laughs> if we end up with a, who's that anime only fans before we end up with a Patreon, there's something wrong. Well, yeah, I I forgot how bad this anime was and how fan service it was. Oh, it's definitely full of that. Yeah. Fuck. Oh dear. Anyway, onward and upward, Colin. Onward, onward and upward. Onward and upwards. Uh, yeah. So this has been who's that anime? Um, not really introduced ourselves, but we're Colin and Steve. Who have watched? We're get, we're getting so much better at this. Who <laughs> watched the uh, school days for your pleasure, not ours? <laughs> I just I'm laughing because I think in the last episode, uh, you and I both subconsciously, even though you got it right, thought you'd said the wrong thing for the name of the show. Mm -hmm. Forgot to introduce ourselves until a good ten minutes in. Mm -hmm. Um, we've done sort of the equivalent of the cinematic late title card this week by introducing ourselves in the dying minutes. Yeah. Um, just like I, I think, I think what's to blame is the is the the, the Christmas holidays and your uh, your moving where we had to record so many episodes in bulk and then got out of practice. 
I think that's what the problem is. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Or or maybe we're just <laughs> we're just I mean maybe we are getting worse. I, that, that's always an option. But could always be getting worse. Um <clears throat> So yeah, it's just kinda like uh, your name. You know how because I don't think it actually had a title screen for it. It had like we intro for your name. Yep. It, 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 you're right. Your name came at the very end of the movie. But yeah, it was like all a prelude to the credits. The opening credits of the show. For that for that movie called Colin. Uh your name. Oh no, my name's Steven. It was your name. Oh. There's a movie called Colin. It's a zombie film, right? Yeah, it's a zombie film. Where is it got Billy Connolly in it? I don't know. It was like a low budget movie. It, like it literally cost like I don't know a few hundred quid, and it was set in England. And it's about a uh, a guy called Colin who turns into a zombie, and he's got to get to his uh, girlfriend, who's also a zombie. I think in a zombie apocalypse. Did it have anyone interesting in it? <laughs> Nobody I knew. I think the the there's a Billy Connolly zombie film. I can't remember what it is, mind you. Anyway, off topic. We should go. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's end this. How about that? It's like our first podcast we've done within an hour in a while. Yeah, yeah, we managed it. Sub sub an hour and and uh, the first podcast from the new the new location as well. Yes. Uh, and almost our uh, oh wait, hang on just realised need to get hats go on need to go and get some hats what? alright, anyway uh, this is goodbye folks have a good week and we'll see you next time for episodes 4 to 6 of Who's That Anime? no, no. School days. <laughs> Quickly. Mulligan. 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 Bye. <laughs> I'm stopping. Bye, folks. Bye.